Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Are we ready? Yes. Okay, Yanari, where are all yours? Bring us home. How does this work legally? Are you now the legal driver? Uh, actually, the remote driver is a legal driver, but uh, so far I am a safety driver. So, of course, as a safety driver, uh, you know, I bear the responsibility that I need to take over if I see that something will happen, like this taxi who doesn't want to let us through. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> actually, one of our uh, KPIs is that, okay, how many drives and how many kilometers we do without safety driver interfering at all, because if yeah. we see that we can do a lot of kilometers, thousands of kilometers and, and, and tens or hundreds of drives without safety driver never doing anything, that means that you don't need him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Today we have uh, separated first control commands and video. We took this decision in the beginning, uh, maybe we will eventually move into only two lines, but right now we have uh, separated. Uh, because we don't want, uh, let's say, video bitrate to kind of kill, let's say, possibly the, the control, because the control is crucial, we need to have a control. We have developed uh, ourselves both the, uh, the hardware and then software, so it's a custom-made PCB where we have two modems on, and then we have processor, which then uh, receives the signals from the demo station. Our goal is to license the technology and offer all the network because uh, teledriving must be used for different sectors because you always have in all sectors peak times and low hours but there is a human uh, behind it you have to fulfill the workload uh, i think we have the estonian mentality concerning ambitions it's too easy to say that we want to scale fast uh, but right now we are putting everywhere to find the cases and what supports the fast scaling so that's that's the moment we behind it. Uh, we would bring the cars in front of customer doors, either to home or to office. Yeah. So it would be basically the same thing as you know you order a taxi over phone or over app, whatever, and then the car just comes to you, but you don't need to pay taxi driver. You are yeah. doing driving yourself. Yeah. Mostly it works well, but yeah, our drivers uh, often complain that if there is some network hole. Uh, in some particular place, the city, we just lower uh, the video quality so much that drivers cannot understand the color of the traffic light, for example. So it gets the video quality gets too low. It sound right, boy. <laughs>